bombarded with messages that Osama bin Laden is planning to attack the United States of America and Israel. And I'm telling you, be prepared for a major attack. But it won't be Osama bin Laden. It will be those behind the New World Order who once again want to take the guns and the freedom away from the American people because we're the only ones left in the world who can oppose the destruction of freedom in the world and the implementation of a one-world totalitarian socialist government, and that is the goal. Now, how stupid can you be to believe that Timothy McVeigh was the mastermind of the destruction of the Alfred P. Mura Federal Building in Oklahoma City, and just he and Terry Nichols, who appears to be somewhat of a fool, plotted, planned, obtained all the different materials, put together a bomb of such force that it brought down what we call in the military a hard target, a target held up by steel, reinforced, concrete, columns, and he had no help. They're doing the same thing today with Osama bin Laden, and that's where I've been getting at. Can you believe what you have been seeing on CNN today, ladies and gentlemen? Can you believe it? <laughs> Supposedly, a CNN reporter found Osama bin Laden, took a television camera crew with him, went into Osama bin Laden's hideout, interviewed him and his top leadership his top lieutenants and colonels and generals in their hideout. This is a CNN reporter with a camera crew. And he came out and told everybody, within three weeks, Osama bin Laden is going to attack the United States and Israel. Now, don't you think that's kind of strange, folks? You see, because the largest intelligence apparatus in the world, with the biggest budget in the history of the world, has been looking for Osama bin Laden for years and years and years and can't find him. The FBI also, under the leadership of Louis Free, has been looking for Osama bin Laden for years and years and years and years and years and many years and can't find him. Some doofus, jerk-off reporter with a camera crew waltzes right into his hideout and interviews him. And you know what his budget is? <laughs> Zip. Zilch, nothing. Now, that tells us two things. Either everyone in the intelligence community and all of the intelligence agencies of the United States government are blithering idiots and incompetent fools, including the entire apparatus of the FBI and all of their personnel, or they're lying to us. They're not looking for him at all. And the second is the truth. You see, the CIA created Osama bin Laden. They recruited him. They trained him. They found his leadership. They brought them all together. They showed him them how to fight the Soviet Union in Afghanistan. And when that was over, they still continued to fund him and train him. And they're now using him to help bring about world government by making him the big boogeyman because they can't use Saddam Hussein anymore. Did you ever hear of Osama bin Laden before you heard of Saddam Hussein? When did you start hearing of Osama bin Laden? It was after Saddam Hussein and Iraq were supposedly neutralized in the Gulf War because they needed a new boogeyman. But they're not looking for Osama bin Laden, because I'm telling you right now, if I were the head of the Central Intelligence Agency, within two weeks I would have him dead or in custody without fail. Without fail. If I had those assets and that money, he would be mine. I would own his terrorist ass within two weeks without fail. A reporter from CNN and his little camera crew got in to Osama bin Laden's secret hideout and conducted an interview. If you don't believe me, tune into CNN. They're probably running it right now as I'm speaking. And if you believe it, you are one of the stupidest jerks that ever lived on the face of this earth. And whatever is going to happen that they're going to blame on Osama bin Laden, don't you even believe it. 
another social illusion, social engineering project to change the minds and the attitudes and the beliefs of the people of the world, and especially the United States, to bring about one world socialist totalitarian government. Can you believe what they were saying for a while? That Timothy McVeigh, the CIA, the NSA, the FBI, the Defense Intelligence Agency, could not find Osama bin Laden in their wildest dreams. But Timothy McVeigh and Terry Nichols could, and recruit him to be their partner in blowing up the Alfred P. Muir Federal Building. Bullshit! How stupid can you be? These guys didn't have a nickel between them. Not a nickel between them. How dumb can you, how stupid can you be? Put me in charge of the CIA. I guarantee you I will have him in custody in two weeks flat. Or dead. Take your pick. Take your pick. Give me that budget, those resources, those personnel. I guarantee you he will be mine in two weeks. And you know what? If I had a few loyal, good Americans who were willing to donate enough money, certainly not even a drop in the bucket compared to what they really have in these intelligence agencies to really go after him, I could still have him in two weeks. Piece of cake. So why why do all these fools believe this charade? That a CNN reporter and his little camera crew can do with all the money and all the assets and all the eavesdropping and all the intelligence and all the satellites and all the undercover operatives in the world can never do. It's because they're not trying. They don't want to. Osama bin Laden is their creation, and he is serving them well. When in hell are all you people going to wake up? Are you kidding me? I mean, is this some kind of incredible joke? People are so stupid they'll fall for this. Do you know how much money the CIA and the National Security Agency and the FBI has at its disposal each year? Do you know how many agents they have that they can devote to this? Do you realize the technology that they have to be able to eavesdrop on every single conversation in the world, no matter how it's transmitted? and pinpoint the location of every one of those transmissions, and they can't find Osama bin Laden, but some CNN reporter, he just waltzes right on in there with his camera crew, just like he knew where they were all the time. Bet you it was the CIA that sent him there. (laughs) I told him where he was. And, of course, they know where he is because they created him. They're the ones that are funding him and backing him and helping him to create their new utopian world. Hitler could not have ever come to power, absolute power in Germany, without the Reichstag fire. Hitler was a socialist. He understood social illusion. He understood social engineering. He knew how to get the support of the German people, and he did it by burning down the Reichstag. The Reichstag was, well, in our country, it would be the Capitol building that contains the Senate and the House of Representatives. So if somebody were to go and burn down the Capitol building today, they would use that as an excuse, as Hitler did, to round up all of the enemies of the New World Order, which would be me and most of you listening, and throw us into prison or execute us, declare martial law, and come to absolute and total power in this country. I wonder what Osama bin Laden's targets are supposed to be. And if they don't, you know, if this doesn't materialize in the next two or three weeks, it will eventually materialize because they haven't succeeded in getting the guns out of the hands of the American people, nor have they succeeded in taking our freedoms away. In fact, there's been a great awakening in this country and a, and a big backlash against these Marxist, communist, puke-faced, lying, subversive, Nazi, jackbooted, Gestapo thugs that is gaining momentum. And so I can tell you with a certainty, they must do something terrible in order to stop this backlash and regain the sympathy of the mass herds of sheeple out there. 
And I'm telling you, one of the things that will give us the moral high ground and, uh, and will begin civil war is the day that they begin declaring martial law across this country, taking guns out of the hands of the American people, and rounding up American patriots. The war will start on that day. On that day. And there will be a war in this country, a civil war, to restore, not a revolution, but a civil war to restore constitutional Republican government. Now, at the same time that that's going on, communist and Marxist underground forces will begin, or try to begin, a revolution in order to institute a Marxist, socialist, or communist government as a result of the civil war. And supposedly, we're not the only nation searching for Osama bin Laden. So the vast economic resources, the vast technological resources, the vast personnel resources, the vast networks and intricate web spun over all these years by the CIA, the FBI, and the NSA can't find Osama bin Laden, but 